Hey everybody, I'm here to show you today an extension that we've created for StreamerBot. I know everybody's seen in maybe your chat or other people's chat where people come in and want to be noticed because it's their birthday. And I mean, who doesn't want to be noticed, right? So we've created a way to allow users to get noticed when it's their birthday or even just display how long it is until their actual birthday. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to set this up. Uh, one of the things you're going to really need with this is a uh, source copy to make sure that you have are able to use the alerts that I've included in the zip file. Uh, I will put the links to everything down below in the video. But you can find source copy over here at OBS project and just make sure this plugin's installed. So we're going to take this gibberish text from the birthday extension import text file and we're going to copy it. And you want to make sure that you don't pick up any trailing spaces or anything because it will break the import. So we're going to go over to StreamerBot under actions and we're going to import and paste that string right here. And then you'll see the list of all the importable actions we have. And we're going to click import. And then you should have seven actions listed over here under birthdays now. So now we're going to flip over to the readme.txt and you'll see where I have all the commands that you need to create for this. So we're going to go do that now. So we're going to flop over to commands. I already have birthday made. So we're going to create birthday with the target location of start. And then we're going to select the action. It's a birthday target user. And then you can set a cooldown on it if you want. Completely up to you. And then you're going to hit OK. And then we're going to do another one called set birthday. We'll clear that out of that group. And we're going to make sure that location set to start. And then we're going to go to action. And we're going to choose birthday set. This is going to allow your users in chat to set their birthday and then when they use the birthday command they'll be able to use uh, birthday and see the date they have set and the countdown to the days so now we're going to come down to and we're going to create another command called reset birthday but what we're going to want to do with this one is We're going to do that to start as well. We're going to put this to action birthday reset, but we only want to allow the moderators to do this. This is going to allow the mods to reset somebody's birthday for some reason that they put it in incorrectly. Um, the mod will be able to do exclamation point reset birthday and then the target user and be able to reset it and allow that user to re to set their birthday again. And next we're gonna go over and we're gonna create our last command and we're gonna call this one birthday shout out or birthday SO. We're gonna choose the action, birthday shout out mod, and then we're only gonna allow moderators to use this as well. What this does is this allows for you. In the code, it allows uh, moderators to auto wish people a happy birthday and do the alert because the code automatically looks and sees if the date of that day is somebody's birthday and will do an auto shout out for them for their birthday. However, if their birthday was the day before yesterday, it's not going to do the auto shout out. So this allows moderators a way or the broadcaster to be able to do that birthday shout out alert if their birthday was not on the day that day. 
So then we're going to go save. And then we are ready to test this all out. So next, after we're done with this, we can close all out of this. We'll minimize streamer bot for now. And then we're going to go into our OBS. So we'll go in to tools, source copy, load scene. We'll find the birthday alert JSON file. What that'll do is put our birthday alert scene into our OBS. And as you'll see over here, I have both sources are hidden. So StreamerBot will trigger these sources when the alert happens. But what we need to do is go into these alerts and we need to check the file to make sure that this file name goes to the right path that we need. And the same with this one. We need to make sure that this uh, file path is pointed to the correct spot of where this uh, video file is located. So once we do that, then we're ready to go for that and we can test things. All right, so now we're gonna test out commands. So I currently don't have my birthday set. So if I was to type exclamation point birthday, it's gonna tell me I haven't set my birthday. So we're gonna go to set birthday. And we're gonna try this format just to show how it checks. So if I set 11.2 like that, it's gonna say it's an invalid format. Please use the correct month, month, day, day format. So what I wanna make sure to do is I wanna make sure I use the correct format when I'm setting. So if I set my birthday for yesterday, it's going to set it and tell me that it's set to the November 20th and long date. And it's going to tell me I have 364 days left until your big day. So this is where if somebody sets their birthday and their birthday was yesterday, a moderator can come in and say birthday SO and the target user and manually wish them a happy birthday because it was the day before. So now what we're going to do is let's say I want to reset that birthday. I'm going to reset birthday, the target user, and that's going to say that I reset my birthday and the user may now set their birthday again. So let's say their birthday's today and they set it. Well, then it's going to do the alert automatically. So that's another check that's in there as well. Now, for the users to be able to trigger the alert, after they've had it set and it's on their birthday, they would just type out birthday. And then if it's their birthday, it'll trigger the alert for the first time that it's been used. After it's been used one time, it won't be, it can't be used again. There's a value variable that checks to make sure it's only been used one time. So it can't be spammed through stream. It'll still do it in chat, but it won't do it on stream as an alert. And you can set a cooldown on your command so they can't spam chat with that as well. And then if I want to look up, let's say I want to look up webmage's birthday, I can do birthday webmage. 
so I can't look that up until they have said it. This is just a breakdown of what all the commands do, and I really hope everybody enjoys this and finds use in this. Uh, just a side note on it, it does use your local system time and date, so it's going to be based off of your computer system time. Uh, trying to do different time zones and things like that would require a little more complex uh, coding and diving into it so we didn't really go that far into it but we did do it based off of your system time so i'm sure i've already had a couple questions about that so i figured i'd go ahead and address that in this video so a big shout out to david from the streamer bot discord for really holding my hand through this and making this extension possible i'm just now diving in and learning c sharp so there was a lot of question asking and him helping me out a lot with this with time and date a big shout out to lifesaver for helping me with the code pen along with whipstip go stop uh, between both of them they were able to help me get that code pen automated and get the user names pulled in like i wanted to uh flad for you know just being supportive and helping me learn variables and stuff in the bot uh, it became a tremendous help in this and just everybody in the streamer bot discord community they've been tremendously helpful and just it's a great community to be a part of um if you like this video i hope to do some more of these as we work on more extensions and roll them out uh, subscribe share you can find me on twitch streaming uh, twitch.tv slash goman i stream on tuesday nights 7 p.m to 10 p.m central standard time and i stream on friday and saturday nights uh, friday i start at 8 p.m central standard time and then saturdays i start at 6 p.m central standard time so come drop me a follow come hang out I do a lot of building stuff for StreamerBot on stream, so sometimes the ideas that we create as extensions come from live on stream. So I hope to see you all there, and thank you very much.